It is Thanksgiving Monday with many Canadians set to gather around the table today. But for some, with the rising cost of living, that will be a challenge. Food bank use has been soaring in recent weeks and months. The head of Toronto's Daily Bread Food Bank says this has been the most challenging Thanksgiving they've ever had. Prior to the pandemic, they fed 65,000 clients a month. That number is now 275,000. Joining me now is Neil Hetherington, the CEO of the Daily Bread Food Bank. Neil, thank you for joining us today, and I know this is probably one of your busiest weekends. Good morning, Roger. It, it absolutely is a, a busy weekend, and I think in your introduction, you, you summed it up well. You know, we used to see 65,000 client visits per month. That number soared to 275,000. And as a result, we had to go from spending $1.5 million a year to $22 million a year just to maintain the existing service levels. It's been incredibly difficult, and so as people are gathered around the Thanksgiving table, we're hopeful that they'll remember those who are uh, food insecure, whose right to food is not being realized, and, uh, and decide to do something about that. How are you keeping up with that demand? That is an incredible increase. Uh, we've been able to keep up with the demand simply because the community has rallied around. You know, it doesn't matter what political stripe you are. You, every, everybody believes that uh, nobody should have to turn to food charity in order to get by. And so that uh, commonality and vision allows us to rally around things like uh, the demand for decent, affordable housing, making sure that people who are on disability uh, start to have a rising income that will allow them to thrive in community, uh, seeing how we can decrease precarious employment. These are all different uh, policy initiatives that will lead to systemic change that will start to decrease that number. But right now, the Daily Bread Food Bank is at a, uh, a critical moment. Uh, our Thanksgiving drive, we've only achieved 50% of the food and funds that we'd like to uh, uh, achieve in order to meet that demand. And so we're hopeful that Canadians will make the choice to, uh, to give back either through donating food or funds, or more importantly, by calling an elected official and saying enough is enough. And this isn't just a Toronto thing. This is uh, people are across the country are, are, are in difficult times with this and other food banks are, are struggling as well. My colleagues all across the country are facing the same challenge and they're experiencing the, the, the same uh, issues that we are here in Toronto, which is a real rise in the number of individuals who are working, who are deriving their uh, income from employment and yet unable to make ends meet. Um, it shouldn't be that, uh, uh, you know, you're working 35, 40 hours a week and still need to turn to, uh, to food charity. Yet that is the reality for so many Canadians. There are so many people who thought this would never happen to me, but it's happening to 2.5 million Canadians every single year. And you mentioned some of the possible solutions. Is there a short-term solution that could help deal with this crisis? And it really, it is a crisis, isn't it? It's an absolute crisis, and I have great hope this Thanksgiving that uh, the federal government will work towards funding the Canada Disability Benefit. It's a new uh, benefit that was passed into law just a few months ago, and, uh, and we are hopeful uh, that the Prime Minister and each elected official at the federal government will fully fund the federal uh, Canada Disability Benefit. And when that happens, those who are uh, dependent on disability in order to get by might not have to rely on charity in order to, uh, to, to make ends meet. So that's uh, one short-term hope that I have. Neil Hetherington, the CEO of the Daily Bread Food Bank, thank you for joining us today.